the scope of counterfeiting is enormous, so big that even government, government agencies that have tried to nail down how big the global problem is can't quite figure it out. We hear the number $600 million of per, per year shot around a lot, but we're really not sure. A few years ago, uh, the US GAO concluded that the US economy loses at least 750,000 jobs a year due to counterfeiting. So it is a big issue. Counterfeiting is definitely on the rise for a number of reasons. One, we've concentrated manufacturing, even of legitimate goods, in a smaller number of countries. So when we've got lots of legitimate goods coming out of China, then we have lots of counterfeits coming out of China. It's really easy to copy the factory down the street. Uh, we also have internet access. And of course, in, in, in retail, uh, online sales are rising at a rate much greater than that of brick and mortar sales. And so it's very easy to deliver counterfeits direct to the consumer, sometimes bypassing customs entirely. Um, so we have demand uh, and recognition of luxury labels, and not even just luxury labels, but well-known labels in a way that we never had in the past, again, partly due to the internet and the popularity of fashion items online. So the problem of counterfeiting is rising uh, as counterfeiters adapt to new retail environments, reach new customers. Some fakes can be really tough to identify. In fact, there's an almost mythical category of the so-called super fakes. You have the legitimate goods going out the front door of the factory at noon and the fake stuff going out the back door at midnight. The number of true super fakes, especially those that actually leave China, is really small. Uh, the, the overruns, that sort of things from the factory. But counterfeit goods in general are getting better and better. Uh, every time we talk about tips for spotting fakes, counterfeiters are listening at the same time. <laughs> counterfeiters. <laughs> so, so yes, counterfeit, counterfeits are improving. The websites that sell counterfeits are improving. Uh, the sales pitch is better. The photos are better. Uh, the access to credit card sales processing is better. Uh, so so it's, it's a, almost an arms race. Uh, the brands that are trying to shut down counterfeiting versus the counterfeiters that keep improving the product. Of course, it's not just luxury goods that are counterfeited. It's every possible consumer product, and not just in the fashion realm. So some of the stuff out there is pretty scary. Would you want counterfeit brake, brake pads, or batteries, or pharmaceuticals, or even cos cosmetic items that you're putting on your skin, or sunglasses that don't actually protect your eyes from UV rays? So there's lots of toxic stuff that ends up in the counterfeit chain that you just might not want in, in, in your personal space. Uh, there are also some other social concerns having to do with counterfeiting. Uh, there's the concern of where the money goes. Clearly, there is organized crime in some form involved. You don't get uh, giant containers the size of my New York apartment ac across borders and through customs without some kind of shady dealing. Uh, there is even some reasonable proof that some percentage of counterfeits goes to funding terrorism. I was skeptical about that at first. Show me the proof. Uh, but some of it's probably classified. But at least in the 1993 World Trade Center bombing and in the Madrid trade bombings, we had some very direct evidence evidence that some of that was funded by counterfeiting. You expect that, though. Anytime we're dealing in illicit sales of goods, whether it's drugs or arms or trafficking in human beings, some of the money is going to go to some pretty unsavory people. In the area of counterfeiting, there's another concern, and that is who's making the product. Concerns about labor conditions in factories and even child labor. Now, obviously, the legitimate fashion industry has had some of those issues as well, but at least if someone's name is on the label, we can hold that person, that company responsible. If a counterfeiter is putting someone else's name on the label, they have even less incentive to engage in humane treatment uh, or to follow child labor laws. So there's some really unsavory things that happen around counterfeiting, not to mention the fact that sales taxes get lost. So legitimate retailers have to compete uh, with the guys who aren't paying taxes or indeed paying rent most of the time. Uh, so, so there are some financial concerns as well. So the, the counterfeit business may seem on its face like a great way to get a bargain. But in fact, there are some other things that consumers need to think about if they want to be part of the world of ethical fashion, which is a whole other story.